Right then, well, let's get, let's get the APNX C1 mid tower case unboxed. Now, it has very good, very good premium foam, so at least it wouldn't get damaged in shipping. So, here's the manual. Tell you what everything's included. Tells you the overall layout of the case. That tells you everything, so that's the manual itself. Let's take off the peel. Now, let's have a look at the inside. Right then, so when it comes to the tempered glass, it does just have a pull tab, so you pull it, and then it slides off. That's tempered glass. Now, then it has the overall layout. So it does come with the FP1s, and I believe these are the one 40s, I believe, and it comes with three of those with a 120 at the back. This is a CP uh, GPU bracket, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to have a look through the manual. Now it's got a lot of ventilation here. It does support a 360 at the top, a 360 in the front as well, but obviously you'd have to mind the gap. But from the looks of it in the front, as you can see, it does have a lot of vents. Now, whether this comes off, I don't know, but that's the overall layout of the back as well, see? So that, actually, I like the overall design, the bent metal. Yeah, it's not exactly the, there we go. Right, so that's the back panel. Very nice quality metal. And then it comes with this little support bracket. These are the internals, so it's got, obviously, type C, it's got, uh, USB 3 and of course and it's got oh it's got an included ARGB hub which that is actually nice so let's try and take this out how does this come out so from the looks of it it should just clip out but I'm not gonna actually force it so the overall layout it does have seven PCI so it is class as mid tower it does have angled an angle here for like the 24 pin and all the rest of the other cables. The top does actually come off. Let me have a look. There we go, there's the top. But there, wide, big, and I do really like the actual color. So, in terms of the top, oh, that's nice, it actually is adjustable. So all you gotta do is adjust these screws and move it back and forth. Now, as you can see, it does support a one, 120s. So that's actually good. Now, this looks like it should come off. And it does, is that look? So, there we go. Wow, look at that. Isn't that nice? That is actually lovely. I like that design, that's cool. So, as I said, does come with three 140 millimeter ARGB FP1 fans and oh and that does come off so there we go like that dust filter it's a little bit restrictive but that's just one of them things these are the FP1s I believe they are they look like the FP1s I've got the FP2s uh, here for comparison for a quick look if you guys want to see that as well. Now you get three 140 millimeter fans in the front, which actually considering the price, the price has actually adjusted somewhat. So reset, big power button, two USB 3s, type C, and then a headphone jack. And then of course, then 360 on top. So it looks like you can fit a 360 and I wouldn't, you could probably fit a 280 as well and a 240. It looks like the 
top might support a 240 as well actually tell you what we can do is have a look at the overall manual now what yeah so 120 or 140 at the front so that's the fans top right here let's have a look so it does support all right it supports 120s and 2140s so you could fit 280 or uh, a 360 at the top which does have additional space in for the motherboard because it is actually angled down at it so right here as you can see there's an, there's an offset by right here from the motherboard to the top of the panel some cases don't have that so you'll have it flush up here where it will bang but that's actually a nice thing at least you wouldn't have to worry about that now so the back does come with a removable bracket for the power supply which is actually good because it's a lot easier just put it in like that and then screw it in so like that And Bob's your uncle, that's done. Right, so let's have a look at this for a minute. Now, it does have support for 360 at the side as well, if you take off this bracket by here, which is held in by screws. Like I said, it's got a ARGB, connect, uh, ARGB hub at the top. Now, what I'm going to do is take off this. Right, so we'll take off this little panel by here, which does actually support the hard drive and an SSD. And looks like you can actually put fans on it as well, which is kind of weird. But of course, you know, that's just one of them things. Obviously, it's a different design. I've never actually seen that before, so that'll be actually interesting. Now, obviously, this panel comes off. Let me take off the screws first, which is quite easy. Just four screws, done. There we go, that comes off, does come with accessories. Now, from the looks of it, it, now there is a lot of space here for cables because of the offset, of course. As you can see, there is at least, I'd say maybe an inch of a gap by here behind the motherboard tray for cable management. I'm not overly fond of all these cables in one position because these are gonna be a nightmare to cable manage, but at least it comes with an included ARGB hub, which is four pin PWM and of course three pin. But of course that is just gonna be a bit of a nightmare for its positioning. So let's have a look at the overall accessory box, which I'm assuming will come with additional screws, maybe the standoffs, the standoff screws. So let's have a look. Let's have a look what comes in the box. So, oh, comes with some nice Velcro straps, which are very nice. Got the APNX logo over there. Okay, so it comes with these little clips inside. Does come with all the washers, comes even with cable, uh, cable ties, but there. Comes with additional screws, mounting, motherboard, standoffs as well. That's actually good. That's where majority of the standoffs for a motherboard will come from is the case and you know they don't come with the motherboard boxes or anything it comes with the case because that is where you put in the motherboard so now what i will say i like the overall black and of course you can take it off you can take it apart and i do like that actually and i like the fact that it supports three 140s at the front and i believe that if someone's going to build in a pc case like this i think Honestly, you could fit a very high-end system in this because look at the overall size of the Space you've got here. This could fit the biggest card, which is probably the 4090 And of course, then it's got a, C a GPU support here, which is very good. At least that's included Personally, I take this off and have the I honestly take this off and move move fans on the side because that actually does help because of course you've got all this ventilation here so yeah 
I actually, I really like the design. The design is very nice. The fans are very good quality. I have had a look at the FP2s, and of course they got a metal housing, and they are quite loud, but that's just one of them things. A lot of fans these days are loud. So what I will say is it's got a lot of room for the biggest power supplies. It does look like it supports the biggest as in the longest and I will say it's got a lot of room downstairs but here from cable management the back panel's got a lot of space for cable management it does support ATX and downwards and overall the aesthetics I like the blue they call it chromia blue but the best thing I'd say is it comes with these fans now the 140s I believe it, these are 20 pound a fan they're very good quality fans and overall it's a good case design, but of course that's really up to you. I would personally take off this shroud by here and put fans on this side, but that's just me. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Look, I will say that this case was £170 when I first had it. The price has gone down to £140, which is very competitive with the market is today. So, yeah. Right then, so I hope you enjoyed the overall unboxing and the overview of this case. Now this is the APNXC1. It is, the price has fluctuated since I've had this case. It was £174, it's down to £140. So I think because you get three 140s, a 120 fan at the back, I think the overall design, I like the overall bent metal shape on the front. It's something different, it's not tempered glass, which is would be very expensive so you'd expect the premium of that as well what i will say though is that this case is very nice i like the chromia blue it does come in white and it does come in black so that's up to you i'll leave down a uh, link down below if you guys want to see me building it then please let me know and i will definitely build something in this if you want me to so make sure you subscribe make sure that you like you comment down below and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic christmas and new year come ahead don't forget that i will be releasing videos when it comes to the new year as well this year i'm not taking a break off i want to continue throughout the new year so as always i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and Christmas and New Year ahead. This is Richard for Welsh Tech. Goodbye.